Welcome, Welcome back, back to Red Hot Media. Media. We, have we have another League of Legends live stream today. today. We have, have no Procedure Burger. Burger. My, My name is Quick Vector. Vector. I'm, I'm on EDS. EDS. And let's, let's get, get right, right into, into the team rosters. rosters. Uh, for Procedure Burger today, today, we have, we have your, your friendly, friendly teammate, teammate Destroyer15121, one five one two one, one, Barnabas, Barnabas Hill, Hill Pajajaxi, and Itchy Fishy. And for the Milton roster, we have about 30 ninjas, Pendagram, Ouroboros, Coffin123, and Granzy. A little late to load in here. Looks like uh, Cedarberg's going to pick up Lucian and Jarvin. Right now we have Ouroboros playing as Israel. About three ninjas playing Gnar like normal. Seems like a good champion to play right now. Yeah. Uh, about 30 ninjas has been playing Nar most of the season. He's been doing very well as Nar. Granzi is playing Brand this game. Or picking Brand. Picking Brand. Yeah. Most likely going to get that for Pendagram because Pendagram's been playing Brand all season. Been doing very well as Brand, just absolutely destroying his Brand. That is very true. Looks like Cedarberg's going to pick up Corky. Cedarberg going to ban Kha'Zix. Milton going to ban Sona. So, uh, recent games, last Wednesday, Milton played against Arrowhead, and they lost, but it was a good game to watch, for sure. I watched it myself, and it was a good game to watch. The last team kill really set them back, but it was a good game to watch. Yeah, it was close. Milton had a bad start, but they got back, and they came back. It was pretty even by mid-game. No uh, Milton banded Yosuo. And looks like Cedarberg banned uh, Udir. Cedarberg picking up Braun. And it's probably their tank. Otherwise, probably quirky. We're going to see who Pendagram will pick up for the team. It'll most likely be, ooh, Alki. Haven't seen that one yet in this season for Milton. Mm, not at all. And looks like Coffin might pick up that blitz crank. Ooh. Changing it up this time. Possibly He's gonna go as Leona this time. And as Cedarberg picks up their last champion, we can head right into the game. Maybe Fiona. And 
Cedarberg's going to pick up Chen. Uh, Coffin picking up Leona. It's a pretty good pick for him last game against Arrowhead. He did very well. He did, did his job very well. He was one of the few that really stood out in those games. Playing Leona on bot, I'm sure. Like Bud's crank, he's been doing pretty well in that bot lane. Yeah, overall good season for Coffin. Support hero. Same with Nar. He's doing that top lane very well. Playing that most of the season. I've seen him play in Spectacular, I'd say. Yeah. Last game, it was a rough start. He was playing against Yasuo. That was just very, very powerful, but he they got around him eventually like why he uh banded this time i'm guessing yeah <laughs> yeah i think the real trouble would probably be the quirky or the lucian this time yeah definitely lucian it's a threat for milton quirky high damage output mm -hmm. shouldn't play top lane or probably play adc carry yeah depending on which the uh, person chooses. Yeah. Looks like um, Milton switched. Oh, never mind. Um, if I am right, it looks that Ishi Fishy is not here today, and we have Tanuki Samurai instead. Maybe another player on the team, maybe a backup runner, or a varsity or a JV if they have that coming up to help the team today. Yeah. Seems to be that Milton will play on the blue side today instead of the red. Mm hmm. Probably go Grand Zia's jungle, probably play that uh, blue scent first, and then go into the red scent after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we'd like to give a special thanks to our coaches. They help us out a lot, and they've made this program what it is today. And we have Justin Watson, strategist, Nick Minogue, manager, Tim Hoof, marketing. Tim Hall uh, helps with our media. And assistant coaches, Dalton Miatke and Ty Robichaud. Very important to our League of Legends team and program. A lot of staff members helping out this time. Uh, it's good to see that not just students in the school, but staff members helping along with that. Yeah, definitely helping making this uh, official and not just a club. More official, the more better we can choose to be in national leagues instead of just local. Yeah. And the uh, the league that Milton is playing in now has just recently been starting, but the teams consist of Arrowhead, Waukesha West, Cedarburg, Walden 3, Oconomowoc, Baraboo, and of course, your Milton Redhawks. As we get into the game here. Uh, it's been rumored that the Cedarburg team is uh, pretty good, I'd say. I have heard the rumors of that, too, around our varsity team in JV and other communities that have told us about that. Arrowhead explained it, but yeah. Um, 
Four is going in our top lane. Chorus by three ninjas. Grand Zoo probably be jungler again. Ouroboros playing that mid lane. Uh, Pentagram playing ADC carry. And then Coffin 123 as bot lane and support. It looks like Cedarberg's going to go for that blue buff first switch, unless they go away from it right now. So running back, uh, blue buff is a mana buff, so give all a team a mana buff, and it looks like their jungler on this hill will be taking that on. Destroyer 15121 and Pajaxi will probably be leashing him. Fetch the rest of your team. I'll wait. Damasia, get some. And Milton takes the red sentinel as we just saw there real quick. Red Saint gives an ability buff so that they care abilities can respond faster. Seems we have two on bot lane and two on from both teams on bot lane right now. Ouroboros going to take some damage. About 30 ninja is going to take a lot of damage from this encounter. Granzi gonna come in for the gank. Tanuki Samurai taking a lot of damage. He's gonna get chased. Orbor's gonna have to get out of that encounter. Seems on top lane, both Bandari Ninjas and Tanaki Samurai are just under um, one of their third health. So far, it's looked pretty even. About three ninjas going for that top lane, but it looked like he missed there for a little bit. And so, 
little bit right now. Off it. Oh, technical difficulties right now, but looks like our Nara right there just got taken out. We see destroyer one five one two one. Uh, just get slowed right there. I apologize for the camera angles. We are trying to figure out how to get this all set up here. Some technical difficulties. So we do have it now. Artemis Hill looked like he was about to come up for a gank at mid. About three ninjas might be able to take out Taneki Samurai. Looks like not though. Taneki Samurai going back to river. Braun coming down to help bot lane again where Oboros and Coffin 123 is. Barnabas Hill also coming down, it looked like. Bothery Ninja's on top right there. Trying to get the Taneki Samurai. Barnabas Hill. Setting a ward in mid, or killing a ward in mid. Team members on bot lane heading back a little bit. Give some reinforcement from the minions on bot lane. Nuki Samurai gonna go in on about 30 ninjas. Granzy in mid right now, probably gonna get double teamed by Cedar Bear right there. About three ninjas looking to take top lane, he does. A little camera again, but then he comes back. Coffin gonna take a lot of damage. Lucian gonna pick off Coffin. Or Boris Lone bot, Granzy might come and help him or go for another jungle attack. Or Boris backing up, getting chased down by Cedarberg right now. Granzy looking to come in and help, but might not be able to help him out a lot. Orboros gets taken down. Granzy just 3v1 here. 
They're just playing with him, letting him run. Unfortunate for Milton. Coffin's going to get back down there, try to see if he can at least get him off the turret. Pentagram holding that mid lane right now, but unsure where his minions are, it looked like. They come up, Pentagram might take a move on your friendly teammate. You're going to take a lot of damage. Coughing going to flash for that kill. Now there's two there on Pentagram. About 30 ninjas and coming in to help mid right now. They play it right, they can take out Seneca Samurai, but... Seems like he's faster than both of them. Good poke by about 30 ninjas. Looks about... Top lane right now is all minions. All team members from both teams are on mid lane and bot lane right now. Cedarburg ahead by three kills and about 4,000 gold. No turrets have been taken yet. Bot lane might be taken soon. Coffin getting stunned here. Coffin is now destroyed. Ouroboros trying to hold that bot lane right now. If he plays it right, he could take out Pajaxi, but it looks like he's going to flash out. Ah, uh, he tried. Not much he can do there, though. About 30 ninjas is going to take Taneka Samurai, but turret is still there. Minions are not, though. Getting some good damage off on him, though. Poke damage is very important in a top lane game, especially with Gnar there, since he's a distance character. Like Cedarberg just went for a dragon in the moment, but we got to back off. Milton coming in there to help. Pentagram gonna get trapped. Ramsey might be able to take out Barnum's Hill. Looks like he's gonna back up. Taking a lot of damage. Ramsey is now second death, I believe. Or Boris just gonna get jumped by. Three people. Not much he could do. He was trying to just see if he can get a kill there, but too many people there. Seems most of Nolan right now is low on level. Too high to start about 30 ninjas with 10 and pentagram with 10. The rest of them are under 8 right now. Oh, unfortunate for about 30 ninjas. He almost had him. Cedarberg going to take dragon right now. Probably take it. There's no Milton person. Yep. Coffin 1, 2, 3, and Granzy next to Red Sentinel right there. I'm trying to get team damage on it. Coffin gonna get picked off. Good damage on, the, on Cedarburg. Milton no, not able to finish. Speed boost would have helped them, but I see what boots they have. 
they have boots at all right now. Looks like both of them had boots. Uh, 30 ninjas on the mini map going up to take Tanaki Samurai right there. Barnabas Hale on Cedarburg taking the Red Sentinel. As well as Granzi taking the Red Sentinel on the Blue Jungle. Granzi and Pentagram trying to get attack on Naki Sam right there, but about three ninjas going against part of his hell right now. Might be able to get it with Mega Nar. Getting good damage off. Granzi and Pentagram coming in. Might be able to take him. The next Samurai comes in anyway. They get the kill. Tanuki Samurai. Looking at four opposing teammates. Orboros on bot lane against two right now. Pentagram at mid right now. Trying to take out your friendly teammate. Stuns him. Just getting some poke damage off. Three mid lane now. Granzi and Pentagram looking to fall back right now. Might be chased by Cedarberg, but it looks not to be yet. About 30 ninjas and coffin. Just experiencing what the other three went through. It seems Cedarberg is trying to go for Rift Hailed right now. No one can stop them though at the moment. Most of Cedarburg right now in Blue Jungle top. Look to be going for Rift Herald indeed. Rift Herald, unlike Baron, won't give them much of a buff, but it'll definitely help them where they put it top lane, mid lane, or bot lane. Falling back for some reason. But they probably get it. Three Milton and mid right now, four Milton. Milton is losing three to thirteen. And about ten K gold right now. Looked at they got the Braun and Lucian right there. Just took down the Corky. Looking to back off from Tanaku Samurai. Tanuki Samurai. Back away from the turret right there, they could possibly get him. So just with the support of their minions, of course. Only 19 minutes into the game right now.
so we wait for camera call to go back on to players. And there it goes. Uh, seems that your friendly teammate is trying to take Scuttle right now. Granty coming in. Take it, but probably not a lot of damage poked off, but... Cedarberg going in for Infernal Drake right now. Villain wants to flash in and help out, take it instead of them. Arboris going in, gonna flash take Infernal Drake, might get pinned though. He does get taken. Infernal Drake take by Cedarberg right now. Coffin Arboris trying to get him, but looks like Bran got the Corky though. And also got the brawn. And Milton got Tanaka Samurai. Alright, back to the game. So far we have 19 Milton, 18 Cedarberg. Still losing from about almost 20k now. Or not about 10k now. Cedarberg took 4 turrets. Milton still has 0. And we're 21 minutes into the game. Seems like Coffin 123 is being taken in the room right now. Flashes out though. But gets hit. Apologies for my uh, silence and technical, the camera angle, because we're having trouble figuring out program the here program yeah. trying to connect it fixed it now hopefully yeah still can't get that timeline out though it's all right so looks like cedarberg is at 19 kills and milton's at 9 and About cedar ninjas teleported to boss help out Gonna get ton of damage taken. It's gonna get taken out. Oh, I'm gonna go all in on this encounter. Took Lucian out. Uh, Tenaku Samurai. Granzi going against each other now. Orboros and Coffin with the three coming in to help with that. Three v one here. Arboris. Oh, he's gonna pick up Israel. Jaxi from Cyber coming in to help. Naku Samurai. It's not looking too good for Milton at this point. Not too good at all. There. Cedarberg. What's up? My astounding amount of gold and right. kills it it's gonna take a miracle for Milton to come back from this one 23 minutes into the game no turrets for Milton taken yet four, four from Cedarberg this is 20 minutes is good though compared to other matches yeah. we've seen so far they do have they have time they can hold out here we're going for Baron right now. Only two of them, though. If they get this Baron, it's gonna it's gonna decrease the chances of a Milton comeback uh, for sure. Looks like Tanaka Samurai comes in, but Ratina has slain Baron anyway. Not looking good for Milton at all. Not at all. Of course. 
kills may be taken high. Uh, see, I've seen many teams come back from this low before. Rarely, rarely, but it's possible. So yeah. hopefully Milton might be able to come back. Definitely possible. Only 22 minutes in. As long as they push within the turrets and not team fight so much, they could potentially make it better. Boris on bot lane. Got to take out very quickly there. Yeah. Three on bot lane from Cedarburg. Or Boris on a 30 second cooldown right now. That's unfortunate for Milton. As it seems like Cedarburg's going to try to push now that they got them Baron minions. It's the only turret not taken yet and just taken there they'll now just has their inner very inner turrets holding off their nexuses and oops full defense here this granzy's gonna get taken down Looks like Cedarburg's gonna try to get in on this. They're gonna take down Ezreal and Brand. Coffin not looking too good here. They're gonna take down Coffin too. Bot 30 Ninja's looking pretty low. Got out of there, but they're taking that bot turret right now. Not good. Looks like about 30 Ninjas is gonna be the defense for a while here. We'll see if, how he can hold this off. I don't know if he can hold this off here. This looks to be. Pretty close game turret. Granzy gonna go in, get Corky. Taking the top turret out of the Nexus right now. They can push him back hard enough before their minions get back, possibly. Yeah. Looks like their minions are doing work on that mid lane turret though. Colonel Drake is live, Milton could just go for that. Not that it would do much, but might be able to help them. Yeah, I think um, at this point, a good strategy for Milton would just be get a turret at least, get a push going. Get an Looks like their lowest turret from the enemy team is top lane, at best. Ooh. Still full, no silhouette yet. I don't know how much damage has been taken on those top turrets from Cedarburg. Looks like they're in jungle right now, just trying to get damage and mana build up and level as well. Granzy right there probably might be taking out. Taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. Just got erased by Lucian. Cedarburg building up their level right now, going for the blue sentinel again. Milton playing very defensive right now. That's all they really can do right now. There's there's nothing else they can do here. Four Cedarburg top lane, I believe. One coming from the mid again. Milton's Nar is at the bot right now, but he should probably help push up to defend it. Coffin gonna... Oh... Coffin. Coffin gonna almost escape there, but Lucian's gonna get him. Picked off. Looks like that top turret still alive so far. About 30 ninjas putting in the damage. Blue turret destroyed. Ezreal gonna go down. About 30 ninjas gonna try to hold on here. Crazy. He's not gonna make it. The only one alive behind him. Pendagram as well. He just. Nothing he could do about that. Just got caught. Juxy going for that inhibitor right there. Granzy gonna get taken down as well. Took down this is turret. this is looking to be very close. Yeah, this is looking like the end of the game as Coffin just gets annihilated. And that is game. That is game. Cedarburg gets the win today against Milton Redhawks. 
overall, it was pretty slow at the beginning of the game, I'd say. Many miscommunications, it looked like, between yeah. Milton about where to go. I'd say team fights are not the best victory on them. Could yeah. Have, uh, should have stayed on their lane, pushed with those turrets like Cedarberg did right there. Could have been stronger, for sure. And Cedarberg mostly controlled most of the game. I'd say they were up in kills right off the bat. They only needed about three of them to take the Baron right there, and that's... It's pretty powerful, I'd say. Yeah. Most of the time you need all your team, at least. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, um, seems that for gold-wise, uh, Milton was about 20 below. They lost 12 to, is that 35? Uh, yes, 35. No turrets were taken by Milton there, and every turret was taken by Cedarburg. Uh, Lucian going 20 and 3. That's pretty high right there. That's that. That's not a good stat. Braun though for Milton did get the twenty-two assists, but he didn't have any kills himself. That twenty-two assists is that's. A, you just look at Milton's numbers and yeah. they're just low. It's about twelve kills overall for Milton. Yeah. Any deaths in there, but. Yep. Okay. Um well in two weeks on that Wednesday, Milton will play Oconomowoc. And uh make sure to tune in for that game. Uh I am Mani Diaz. Uh my name's Quinn Vector. And thank you for joining us on Red Hawk Media.